I want to be very clear. This is not about taking away anyone's guns. It's about vil not about vilifying gun, o gun owners. In fact, we believe we should be treating responsible gun owners as an example of how every gun owner should behave. President Biden tonight addressing the nation and calling on Congress to pass gun legislation following the recent wave of mass shootings in Texas last night in Tulsa as well and Buffalo, New York. The Gun Violence Archive says there have been 36 mass shootings since the attack in the grocery store in Buffalo. That was two weeks ago. The president wants a ban on what he is calling assault weapons and high capacity magazines or implement other measures, including raising the age limit to purchase weapons and also stricter red flag laws. But my God, the fact that the majority of the Senate Republicans don't want any of these proposals even to be debated or come up for a vote, I find unconscionable. Nothing really brings people to the table like calling them unconscionable. More than 250 mayors now are calling on the Senate to pass two gun safety bills. One of them joins us now, Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg. Mayor, uh, nice to see you. Uh, Thank you, Larry. I, I, I'm thinking about how you get things done in, in Sacramento. Uh, when you got something controversial before the city council, does calling the people who might disagree with you unconscionable uh, ever do any good? Well, it, telling the truth uh, is always the right thing. And I could not agree with President Biden more. Really what he's saying is this, why can't we have a common sense debate in this country that respects gun ownership, that says that guns for sport, for self-defense, uh, for target practice uh, is okay. And at the same time say, that assault weapons, weapons that fire rapid numbers of rounds and have no purpose other than to maim or kill people should be outlawed. I have to. I just have to take so many issues with this because I, I don't. I don't. I don't know a lot about weapons, but I don't know what an assault weapon is because nobody's ever been able to define it for me to, to start with. Well, well, that that's not true. The Congress actually passed. A very specific assault weapons ban that, mm -hmm. unfortunately, so sure. So, uh, so I just wanna, if we're going to ban them, does that mean we should take them away from people? I, I don't think anybody should have in their possession a gun that can fire rapid numbers of rounds, dozens, hundreds of rounds in seconds and minutes that have no other purpose. Oh, 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 so, no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad you're saying it because I, I, I've yet to hear people who've gone this far in terms of actually calling for confiscation of weapons in America, but uh, you really think that has any chance of passing? Come on. Well of, course, well, of course it has no chance of passing because we live in a pretty sick culture that, um, that cannot apparently distinguish between uh, ownership. Well, of, I, I'm, um, I'm thinking though about your home state of your home city. Okay, crime is up now in that city. Uh, 240 shooting reports, 67 victims shot in 2020, uh, 2022. Murders were up significantly last year. Um, can you blame people who'd want guns to protect themselves from criminals who are always going to have guns? Guns are not the answer. I mean, every study that has ever been done says that guns are more likely to be used against innocent people than they are by innocent people to protect themselves and their families. That, that's just, it, it's just plain true. We, we, we might disagree about this, but here's what I know. The vast majority of Americans support common sense gun wait, wait, regulation. Wait, wait, hold, 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 fact, hold on, hold on, no, Mayor. No, no, you, you, no, Mayor, come on. Mayor, you can't, you can't Mayor, just, you, you, can't, oh, you can't just put out statistics and say the majority of Americans believe in common sense. To you, common sense is taking assault weapons that you well, have to find away no, from people. That, that you can't say the majority of Americans agree with that because they don't. I disagree with you, Leland. <gasps> Uh, the well, majority they, they, of Americans, show, um, show me the poll they, they, that shows they, they, the majority of Americans want to take away uh, any type of assault weapon as defined by you from legal gun owners. The majority of Americans support comprehensive uh, background checks. They support banning assault weapons. You know, in Canada right now, our neighbors to the north, they're about to pass a policy that says that the transfer or sale 
um, of guns, of assault weapons. I, I, I know they are. They are they're they're, even, they're, they're, they're also the same. Why can't have that debate on the Senate floor as President Be, Biden because said it's in simple. our country? It's very simple why you can't have that debate, because the elected representatives of 50 percent of America actually plus a couple of extra senators, if you want to call Kristen Sinema, uh, she's a Democrat, also Joe Manchin, a Democrat. The, the elected representatives of people say we don't want to have that debate. That, that's policy. That's not policy. That's democracy Everything at work. We have the filibuster, which allows a minority of senators uh, to be able to and sir, and sir, and sir, you and, and, sir, you and I both, you and I both you know, know, you and I both know if there were 51 votes in the Senate, to break the filibuster on this issue, it would be broken. It doesn't exist. And, and you'd be in favor of breaking the filibuster, I assume. I, I'm not in favor or not in favor of anything. I'm here no. to give both well, sides a hard right. time. I, You're coming I'm on in, here and telling me that most Americans agree with something that they don't. I'm in favor. Uh, that's, you're wrong. The majority <laughs> okay. of Americans support common sense gun control. Un, un, unequivocally, look at any public opinion poll. It is shameful that in this country, we cannot even have a debate in the United States Senate about comprehensive background checks, about banning assault weapons, about red flag laws, about anything that the public is demanding. How many more people have to die? How many more well, kids how, how have many, to die? How many more, how, how well, many more, how, how many more people have to be let out of jail? How many more criminals have to be able to get guns? How many more criminals have to be let well, out of jail early that, the, the, that, 18, that Americans want to protect the, themselves from? <laughs> The 18-year-old in Uvalde, Texas, uh, did not get let out of jail. The fact of the matter is, since the assault weapon ban expired in 2004, mass shootings have tripled. It's interesting, though. The sheriff. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. It's interesting because the sheriff in your own city uh, slammed uh, the laws in light of mass shootings. He didn't slam gun control laws uh, or the access to weapons. Your own sheriff, after a big shooting in your city. Uh, said the real problem was people being let out of jail and criminals being let out of jail. Well, the sheriff in my city is a strong supporter of Donald Trump, and I'm not. So there's the <laughs> difference. And, I, and apparently you are too, because yes, you're, sir, spouting, you <laughs> you're spouting a lot of right-wing stuff that uh, you know, that, you know, Mayor, Mayor, I'm, Mayor, journalism. Mayor, it's, it's, it's interesting. Um, I'll give you a piece of advice. The next time you're going to do an interview, it'd help if you Google the person who you're interviewing because there's a whole lot of Donald Trump talking about how much he hates me. So thank you. We appreciate Good. it. Meryl Daryl Steinberg of Sacramento. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.